Hi, Dave Gilbert here from SCV Electrical. I thought I would make a short informative video on radio teleswitches as they are about to be switched off and it may affect some customers. Um, these will be customers that have no gas supply and do not have a smart meter. Um, in some cases you may still not be affected but essentially the likelihood is if you are in that category you, you may have a radio teleswitch which is a device that switches your off-peak electricity so if you've only got electric supply no gas and it switches your off-peak electricity that typically supply you storage heaters and a hot water cylinder an immersion heater that that will no longer work after the 30th of June um, now um, there's a good website here which explains pretty much most of what I've just said which is the most important bits um, and you can read all about it on here um, the only way to get around this is to have a smart meter installed there is no other option um, and here I can show you some pictures here is a picture of a radio teleswitch so this is the device that will be switched off. These essentially receive a radio signal from a big mast um, that switches them on and off at night and this signal will be switched off. So even though your teleswitch will still be there, the signal won't be sent to it so it won't know to switch on or off. Now I've got a few more, I think I've got another picture of one here and you can just see on here it says radio teleswitch. These are fairly large, they're about uh, 15 centimetres wide and about 25 centimetres high. Here it's pictured next to an electricity meter and they always will be next to an electricity meter so go and have a check to see if you've still got one and as I say if you've had a smart meter installed this will have been removed and your meter will have been replaced and you don't need to do anything. So here's a picture as well. Um, if you've got something that looks like this then you won't be affected. This is actually a mechanical timer um, that will switch the off-peak electricity, not a radio teleswitch. So if you've got something that looks like that where you can see the actual mechanical timer inside it, uh, you won't be affected. Now, what will happen is it won't switch your off-peak electricity on, it won't switch your heating and your hot water, so heating being storage heaters typically. Now, um, if you have a hot water cylinder, that will be the main issue. So I would suggest if you've got something that looks like this, where you've got your cylinder and you have your, this is the off-peak immersion heater here at the bottom, and this is the peak immersion heater at the top. I would, just for probably a couple of days, you can play around with it and I would switch the off-peak one off and switch the peak one on um, maybe just for a couple of hours it doesn't need to be left switched on all the time it will have a, a thermostat inside there so it will switch off it won't just continue to run and run but it still doesn't need to be switched on permanently because it will cost you more money than it, it needs to cost you um, it will cost more to run anyway um, typically maybe double than it would cost for the off-peak but at least you would know that you've got a backup before you can arrange to have a smart meter installed. Now, to have a smart meter installed, you would need to contact your energy supplier and arrange for them to come and install it. And as far as I know, there's around 390,000 radio teleswitches still in use in the UK. Um, these are being swapped out every day, but you would need to contact your supplier to have yours changed. Um, and as I say, unfortunately, there is no other alternative. So um, I hope this video has been helpful. And as I say, you can read all about it here, energy-uk.org.uk. Um, if you just Google RTS switch off, this is the first website that will come up. And it's a useful, doc it's a useful document on here. So, um, yeah, I hope that's been helpful. Thanks very much.